that barrel has weakened to a tropical storm, but is expected to re-intensify as it enters the warm waters of the Gulf before hitting Texas potentially as a category one. So obviously we'll continue to track that storm in the next few days here. Let's take a look outside right now in our area, downtown Providence here. We've been quiet for the most part this evening. We saw some showers and downpours earlier today. I am currently tracking some thunderstorms that are working their way through parts of Connecticut, but have not yet reached our immediate area. Let's take a look at those temperatures as well. Very mild out there this evening. Won't be getting much cooler than this overnight lows in the low 70s here. We're at 74 right now in Providence down towards the coast. 73 right now in Newport, New Bedford, just slightly warmer at this hour, closer to 80 degrees still at 77. And with that, those dew points have continued to be very high and that'll stay that way over the next few days in the low 70s. So very muggy out there with that rain in addition to it just kind of feels sticky and oppressive throughout the day today. And we'll continue that trend through tomorrow as well. Saturday looking much of the same with chances for showers and thunderstorms, especially in the morning tomorrow. And that'll kind of lead way to a more of a 50 50 weekend outlook tomorrow. Kind of rainy, cloudy with that chance for thunderstorms. Sunday looking a lot better with uh, more dry conditions and sunshine as well. We will be staying humid though over the next few days. And let's take a look here at those humidity readings as we continue on through the rest of the weekend, staying very elevated. A little bit of a dip Sunday into Monday, but then kind of jumping right back up by Monday afternoon and into the midweek as well. We'll reintroduce the chance for some showers on Wednesday and Thursday. And with that, your temperature trend tomorrow, very humid, but those temperatures kind of right on average, but Sunday and Monday, Tuesday as well, very warm. And with that added humidity, it's going to be very oppressive. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that as the days move on here. Satellite and radar, as I mentioned, those thunderstorms working their way through parts of central Connecticut, but already looking to have weakened quite a bit here. So by the time it gets to our uh, border here in western Rhode Island, not expecting much from this, although that chance will continue for scattered showers and thunderstorms with those very humid conditions as we head towards the overnight tonight and into Saturday as well. So let's take a closer look here. As we continue on through the overnight hours, lots of clouds around patchy fog as well, especially down towards the coast with that chance for some spotty showers overnight. Things becoming a little bit more consistent as we head towards the morning with more widespread, especially in the northern parts of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts with those showers and thunderstorms. Late day, though, not looking too bad. A slight chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm, but it'll be mainly cloudy and dry for the most part as we head towards Saturday evening with conditions improving as we head towards Sunday. So good news there. So again, your Saturday morning, mainly kind of the morning is when I'm tracking the more widespread chance for those showers and thunderstorms as we head towards the afternoon conditions improving greatly here. We do still have that chance for an isolated shower, but not looking as consistent towards the second half of the day. We will stay very cloudy and humid though throughout the day tomorrow. So again, Sunday kind of looking like the better day out of the next two days. I know a lot of people still on vacation. The good news is tomorrow doesn't look like a washout pretty similar to today, but out of the two days not looking as good unfortunately for beach weather. Of course, a lot of people today still went down to the beach, so not going to stop everybody, but looking better on Sunday for sure. Yeah, we saw the evidence on the beach cam all day. The little bit of gray skies and a little bit of rain, not going to keep Rhode Islanders away from the sand. It's always yeah. nice on the beach. It's always nice yeah, on the beach. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, for most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time, that's fair. All right, coming up next in sports, the Yankees.